Hey Sagittarius, it's Nicola. So let's see, this will be kind of quick. We're working on the weekly read for January the 1st through the 5th of 2019. It's the 31st. So I really, you know, I'm going to take off the rest of this day and tomorrow for the holidays. Happy New Year. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius in love. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, January the 1st through the 5th, 2019. This is about you, your partner, and the outcome of your situation for this week. What messages do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? In love, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, January the 1st through the 5th, 2019. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, January the 1st through the 5th of 2019. Like I said, this will be kind of quick. So we're going to go, when we put the cards out, we're going straight to clarifying the cards. Four of Pentacles, maybe guarded, maybe holding on, needing to make a decision. Y'all holding on, needing to make a decision, Sagittarius, make a decision. Feeling at an imbalance, a lot of anxiety about. So you're at an imbalance. You're at an imbalance, something that you put a lot of time in. There's a lot of anxiety. Someone is heartbroken, wanting to make a decision at a crossroads about. So you and your partner are both at a crossroads about this situation. Um, there's something, there's conflicts due with tradition, or you guys could have other people conflicting within the situation. Taurus energy here. Queen of Swords needing to make a decision to cut away what is not beneficial. Judgment here. Decisions, decisions. It is decision time. time saggies gotta make a decision two of cups here why is this two of cups here add an imbalance about your thoughts about a foundation two of pentacles high man low man a lot of anxiety a lot of cruelty two of pentacles clarifying the two of pentacles knight of cups you need to balance your emotions you need to balance yourself and manifest something better for you have patience with yourself understand that your ships are coming in you need to get out of your head why is this nine of swords here why is this nine of swords here Ten of Wands, a lot of anxiety, feeling trapped within a relationship. Four of Wands, needing to release that temperance, Sagittarian energy. Seven of Swords, you need to stop deceiving yourself. Get out of whatever's an imbalance to you. Stop holding it on to something that has already ended. Ten of Wands, it's already a burden here. You need to let it go. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Someone is taken, 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 Sagittarius. It's taken, taken, taken. Whether it be you, whether it be somebody you with. Someone is just hoping that you keep giving, that you stay within a foundation. High man, low man. I know what I'm talking about. You need to manifest something different. Some of y'all have manifest a different lover. So you got a different opportunity here. But you're disappointed because it's the situation you're in. Someone's very controlling in that situation. And pretty much stabbing your ass in the back. All right. Three of swords here. Not, I don't know if it's intentional or not. Um, they may be healing within themselves, but there is a lot of woe is me victim mentality going on within this connection. So with the three of swords here, why is this three of swords here? Why is the three of swords here? Someone's needing to heal so that they can make a decision. Hey, man, there's some sacrifice. So in order to get emotional fulfillment, a sacrifice is necessary. You must nurture yourself and sacrifice the relationship because it's causing conflict. My apologies, but yes, a relationship is causing conflict, whether it's the relationship you're in or another relationship is causing conflict. But the end result is you need to nurture yourself. Someone could also be healing and at a crossroads about where they want to go within a situation. Nine of Pentacles judgment. Someone could be making a decision to gain their independence from something that was they've come into fruition. Someone's awakening and they have come into fruition after healing. So why is this two of wands here? That's just two of wands here. King of wands, knight of wands. So yeah, someone's making a decision to focus on moving forward. Um, may be worried here if the fruits will come into fruition because in the past they have not. Four of pentacles, I mean four of cups here, feeling heartbroken, um, feeling disappointment. That is what's leading, whatever you were feeling heartbroken and that's what's leading to the change in perspective here. So someone has healed, has awakened and they're deciding to leave a situation. Ten of coins, I know what I'm talking about. You may be holding on now because you know the decision has to be made but someone else may be leaving so why is the ten of pentacles here because they feel at a lack why is the ten of pentacles that someone wants true prosperity true abundance someone feels at a lack very disappointed going from the ten to the five retreating from the situation four of swords knight of pentacles handling whatever responsibility someone realizes that they got to handle whatever burdens they have to themselves and move away from lack and go toward abundance so with the five of wands here this is conflict com competition um someone may be making a decision to not be in competition to stand their power stand in their power 
Six of Wands, move forward. So going, leaving away, from, yeah, someone's moving away from complications with money, complications with people, drama, shit like that. Excuse my language, but someone is making the decision. Look, from the five to the six, moving forward here. From at this is still being at a crossroads, you're making the decision to move forward from the five of pentacles to the ace of pentacles, being the six of pentacles, moving away from the imbalances, the worry, the feeling of lack, going towards something more balanced. Ace of pentacles, ace of wands, brand new motherfucking life. Tradition here, someone's in conflict about what is tradition, what is a traditional situation, making the judgment call against tradition here, breaking traditions all 2019. Someone's restricting themselves based off what. And then what's crazy, I got 10, 10 of cups here and the 10 of swords here. So someone's putting it into a past relationship, making a decision to move forward, really speaking this because before they were at a stalemate or maybe pretending that there's not a problem. So someone's feeling restricted because they're pretending that there's not a problem within a relationship, but the relationship is over. Knight of swords, someone's evaluating, moving forward. Queen of swords making decisions. The queen of swords makes decisions. Why is this queen of swords here? Someone could be cutting off a woman as well. Sun card, Leo energy, clarity, seeing clear what responsibilities they have to a cycle. Five of swords, feeling conflicted, conflicted about that, but someone is removing themselves. So yeah, this is decision time. Someone may be making a decision to remove themselves from a cycle, a codependency here, a burdened relationship. Why is, I mean, give me guidance. <laughs> give me guidance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Past life relationships. Some of you guys are dealing with past life relationships. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. What other messages do we have for Sagittarius? Forgiving and learning. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So some of you guys, ooh, we got codependency. Yep. Some of you guys are releasing that codependent ex, giving yourself a chance at a real relationship or a true happiness. Some of you guys want abundance. Congratulations, kudos. What I'm gaining from the, the bottom portion of this is someone may be holding on to you or you may be holding on to a situation based off prior experience or prior knowledge of what traditional relationships mean. Someone is stuck in the, it has to work this way because this is how a relationship is as opposed to really going for what they feel with inside of them. So remove yourself from your thoughts and actually focus on what you feel and what like to feel moving forward. That's all I got. Peace, y'all.